Now, the latest on the mayor of Toronto, uh, the city council said it has had enough. Members voted to strip Mayor Rob Ford of some of his key powers, an unprecedented move in that city. This comes after Ford admitted to smoking crack and going on drinking binges. And even though he's accused of associating with uh, prostitutes and even made lewd sexual comments in front of television cameras this week, Ford's wife is standing by him. Down, no. Do you think he should take a leave That's why we have elections. Do you think he should at least take some personal time? Should he at least take a little bit of personal time? That way, no. Okay, so what's next uh, for Mayor Ford? Senior international correspondent Nick Robertson is in Toronto today. So, Nick, you spoke with Rob Ford's brother, who was also a Toronto City Council member. What does he have to say about all of this? Well, one of the things that's important for the family at the moment is just how much is being brought up about the mayor and uh, how much that discredits the family. So uh, the family's always looked up to the father who had a short but, but uh, fairly popular political career here. Um, that's the family's legacy. And I asked uh, the mayor's brother, Doug, um, what is all of this doing to the family's legacy? I think our, our legacy is going to be pretty solid based on uh, how Rob performs. You're going to look at a family that doesn't need to be doing this, that has actually sacrificed massive amounts of time, uh, money, their business to serve the people. Are you worried about his health with all this additional stress, not just the public, not just the councillors, but the family's name riding here too? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm confident that uh, the people that actually know us understand what we've done for for our so community you, this is your, but brother, they also, your brother's health that's so right you, you the priority the, the priority obviously is health uh, health comes first over anything if you don't have your health you have nothing so uh, we we're confident that Rob's gonna move forward and uh, only time will tell if, if I sit here and tell you a hundred percent Rob Ford's gonna be perfect I can't tell you that and that's a very and that's a very telling comment coming from his brother, Doug, who has advised the, the mayor to step back, that he's not sure at this stage um, if the mayor will be able to pull through. There seems to be a lot of concern in that family uh, about Mayor Rob Ford right now. Huh. And then, right. Nick, looking ahead to Monday, um, are there more special council sessions planned? Oh, you bet. The council isn't done stripping powers from the mayor. Friday, they took away his power to sort of uh, rule during a state of emergency. His powers to hire and fire senior staff. On Monday, they're going to take money away from him, give more powers to the deputy mayor, and even take some of his staff away from him and put them under the deputy mayor. Is not going to be left with much more than a vote at the moment here, Fred. All right, Nick Robertson, thanks so much. Of course, we're not done talking about Mayor Rob Ford. Uh, later on this hour, much more about how in the world he is planning to recover from all of this.